Uh, welcome to another episode of Growing Pains, How to Run a Profitable Window Film Business. Uh, we got Matt here, obviously, and today we're going to unpack how do you pay your installers? There's a lot of ways to pay installers. Matt's been running SolarArt for 10 years. If you don't know what, anything about SolarArt, be sure to go to the website, check them out. Um, they got four locations. They got 20 installers, um, 10 million in revenue. Uh, so Matt is qualified to answer this question. So Matt, talk a little bit about how you pay your installers. You've done a, a lot of different ways. Let's talk through some of them. Yeah, so it's interesting. So I've, you know, I would do 10 years in the automotive uh, business and 10 years in growing solar art and residential commercial business. And I've seen all different types of pay structures. And I know that a lot of guys do different things on how to pay their installers. And, and I, you know, it's, it's, it's all over the map, right? And so um, I don't think there's a necessarily specifically a right way to do it. It's just a right way for your company, depending on, you know, how your company is structured. Um, you know, we, we were at one time just all commission, you know, per square foot, buck a square foot, whatever it is, um, you know, per French pain, things like that. Then we went to, you know, then we were completely hourly and then kind of went back and forth for us. Um, you know, the way we do it is, you know, we have an hourly base pay, um, especially in California, you, you actually have to pay hourly. You can't even just pay just commission. So, um, so you have to actually pay hourly just regardless but we do have an hourly base pay. And then we also have a commission component in it as well. And so the hourly will equal X amount of dollars if you work 40 hours a week or whatever hours you work. And then your commission will equal X amount based on the commission structure, dollar square foot or whatever. And so whichever one is higher than the installer would get paid that amount. And so, um, and so it's kind of a combination of both. So it's kind of like a, you're guaranteed to make this on an hourly basis, but if you're fast and you, you know, you go at a, a faster pace, you'll, you'll make a little bit more. Um, you know, we have bonuses and, you know, if you get, you know, if you get a, a good review, um, things like that, we give bonuses, learn that from uh, WTLA, Eric Diva, shout out. He did that. That's a great way to do that. Um, you know, he was doing like $40 if you, oh, oh, if they name the installer's name in the review, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. So the installers are like apt to like, Hey, give me a review and push for that, which is smart, you know? Yeah. Um, and so we do that as well. Um, we do, um, uh, so in that the challenge with paying installers, you know, on hourly, the challenge is, well, they're paid hourly. What incentive they have to go fast, right? right? They're just going to milk the clock. Right. And then you're like, fuck, they're going to go too slow. And then with commission, they're like, oh shit, they're going to go too fast. They're going to do shitty work and not care about quality. They just need to throw up square footage. And so you like, you have this dilemma is like, do I want to do hourly and just have them go slow or I go, you know, commission. And so the funny part is we, um, we did sort of a test with some installers that we had and we had that were on hourly and then versus commission. And what we found was that whether we had them on hourly or commission, their behavior did not change. And so what that told us was it's more about the installer, right? And their work ethic and who they were, not so much they weren't motivated by the, the plan, right? right. Um, now, now the guys that were fast, you know, like the commission plan because they were, you know, they obviously were making, you know, making more money. Um, but um, but we, we didn't necessarily see them, you know, go on hourly and then really slow down, you know? Uh, so I think, I think it has to do a lot to do with the work ethic. Um, but I think, um, so I think either, either one works. I mean, we've, we've acquired, uh, you know, 10 companies, most of the companies we've acquired have been hourly, you know, just, um, you know, and it's a simpler, uh, pay structure. Um, it's what, you know, kind of a lot of people understand and know when you come into the business commissions, like what's that, you know? Um, but as guys get seasoned, they get trained, they, they lend themselves more towards commission. So, and you want to pay commission. Like when we have hourly and commission, like we want guys to be in the commission game because if they're making a lot of money, that means we're making a lot of money. Right. And so, um, and so I, I, I tend to like the commission more because it's like, you know, you're, you're making money, they're making money and it's great. Um, the little bit of a challenge with that is you could have a really good installer. In other words, good customer service, you know, great communication, um, you know, all around um, a great installer, but maybe he's not that fast. And so then, you know, the challenge, okay, well, then he's not going to make as much as these other guys that are going really fast, you know? And so, and so it, it's, it's hard to balance that a little bit. Mm. Um, but I think the, what we do with the, with the balance of the hourly and the commission works 
Um, you know, we try, we have other perks and benefits. We'll, we'll get into employee, uh, you know, culture and benefits and perks and things like that, that we do um, that kind of is additional, um, you know, and, you know, you know, obviously we give the guys, you know, all the guys, our guys specifically, you know, they get vans, they get shirts, they get all kinds of, you know, uh, merch to go out there. They we want them looking clean, looking good. Their vans are all set up the same way. Like it's all, you know, kind of cookie cutter the way we do it because we have to. Um, but I think, um, yeah, I mean, pay structure is important. I mean, you want to be able to get and retain installers. And so um, they have to be able to make, but I mean, in our structure, we got guys making a lot of money. I mean, you could, you could, I mean, you know, there are guys that potentially, you know, you could probably potentially, you know, pay could get up there, you know, uh, for, for an installer. So, I mean, it's a, it's a trades tradesman job that's, you know, and it's not, you know, it's not like you're digging ditches, you know, it's, it's window film. So it's a good, not easy, but like, it's not, you know, it's not the hardest job in the world. Um, you know, you are, you're driving all over the place and a lot of work could be hanging off the side of a building if you're doing exterior stuff. So, um, but there's a lot of skill sets that go into it. And so, um, another thing we, we were, we haven't done this yet, but one of the things that we are working on is creating tiers for installers. There's a lot of installers like, Hey, you know, I want to raise, I want to raise, I want this, I want that. And so we looked at our all installers. We have like 20 installers. Um, and we're like, okay, you know, where do they fit in to what we need for the business? You know, can they do, um, you know, can they do silicone attachment system? You know, can they install, you know, security films? Can they install Casper, Casper cloaking film, which is a difficult film, you know, thing to do. Can they, are they certified on a stage or a boom lift? There's a lot of things like that. And so, so our idea was we're working on this now is creating tiers. Um, and so having different levels and each one, each tier would be assigned a, a hourly rate. And so Johnny, you would have, you would be at tier one because you're, you know, entry level installer, you can install some basic window films, maybe not security films, maybe not silicone attachment system, but you're a tier one. You want to get a tier two, learn how to do this, this, and this, then you get to tier two and then your pay bumps to this, you know, and then you get to tier three, your pay bumps to this, and then you get to tier four, you create four tiers, top, top, top tier, you could do anything. You could do exterior, you could do interior, you could do all films, uh, you could train, and so, and then, so then when an installer comes to you and says, Hey, I want to make more money. You'll go, okay, here are the things that you need to learn to become a tier four installer or whatever you, whatever you want to call it. So, so, you know, we're working on that. We think that is kind of a, um, a good program. Um, so if any of our guys are watching, then so they don't know about it yet. So <laughs> but it's good. It's a good, it's, I, we think it's going to be, it's going to be a kind of a good way to do things. We do, we do yearly reviews, you know, for pay, you know, which you should do. And, you know, I, one guy, I remember one guy told me, uh, at, you know, we bought a lot of businesses and he's I'm like, do you, do you do your reviews with your employees every year? He's like, no, then they're going to ask for a raise. <laughs> he's like, I, don't do, I don't do reviews. I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk to them about money. Right. <laughs> like, that's, makes that's sense. Awful. Right. You know, it's sleeping under the rug. Uh, so it's funny, but, um, but yeah, and so our pay is interesting. I mean, it's, it definitely, you gotta be, uh, you know, definitely make sure that it's right for your company, but there's different ways to do it. I'm curious what other, other companies do. And I, again, we found that most of the companies that I know out there and we bought a lot of companies, friends with a lot of companies, most of them do hourly, but some of them also do commission too. So I'm curious, uh, what they're doing. Maybe they can make some, you know, in the comments, whatever we're going to YouTube and, LinkedIn or whatever, they can comment like hourly or commission or whatever they think is better. I'm curious mm -hmm. um, to get some feedback on that. So yeah, anyway, yeah, that's our pay installer pay video. Yeah. I think there's a lot that kind of uh, correlates back to our other episodes. So if you didn't watch our first episode on uh, managing and retaining installers, there's some of this that kind of correlates to retaining your installers. So be sure to check that one out. And like Matt said, if you have any feedback or comments about what you guys do, be sure to write a comment below so we can check it out um, and then take a look out for our next episode. Cool. Awesome. Later, guys. Thanks again, Matt.